Happy October 2nd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party entered Oberworth and were attacked by spiders. We managed to defeat all five of the spiders, and we lost zero villagers. We still have six in our squad, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oberworth. Explore the town to look for surviving villagers and insects. Okay, and <laughs> there's a very large backpack on a, uh, on this page. Um, so let's see. Uh, we haven't had one of these in a while. I think we roll a d10. And where's the backpack rolls? Here we go. So find a d10 here and two dragons fire. That sounds cool. Equip. Equipment. Dragon's Fire. We have one of those already. Add D4 to all to a, a single damage roll on this page. So we now have uh, we now have two of those. There we go. Where are you going, markers? We're just getting started. Okay. And then we find Ivy. And we're off. Uh, let's see. One, uh, six places. I guess we'll just go sort of. I'll uh, start at one. And we'll go up the. We'll go one, three, six. I don't know. Two, five, four. Here we go. Area one. You find several silken sacks stuck together behind a barn. D20 plus attack plus villager squad. We're going to attack some. Uh, some silken, silken sacks. Here we go. Twelve uh, plus our attack of eight is twenty. Plus our villager squad, we get a twenty-six. If the result is twenty-two or more, you save a critter on the verge of death. You also free a villager willing and anxious to seek revenge on the insects that took his wife. Add one to your count of villagers safe, and add one to your count of villager squad. That's outstanding. So. We have seven in our squad, and we have two safe. I, f I feel like we're doing really well here. Um, that was area one. Area three. Did I just jinx myself? We will find out. An insect springs out from a building window to attack and sink its venomous fangs into you. Uh, we've got some stats here, so we're doing combat. It's got a defense of 16. We roll a 5, plus our attack of 8 is 13. Can we get three more points on our attack? Uh, this is a plus one that we can use on any roll. We have Enid who could help us, and, and we have Ivy's Radiant Blast, so we can we can get this. It's just a question of how. Let's try Enid first. Party members, Enid. Enid needs a how many? Uh, okay. This will get us one. It's not going to uh, make us hit, but it'll help us out with um, Ivy's Radiant Blast. So we need a club greater than or equal to seven, and we do not get it. So we are reliant on Ivy's Radiant Blasts, which, let's see, use one surge, add D4 to an attack roll. Um, so we might get this with one. We need three points. And we get one, so that's one radiant blast, or one yeah one surge. We have three more we can use. Uh, another one. <laughs> we need one more point. So it doesn't matter what we get here. We'll get it for sure. Three surges. <laughs> okay, that's not good. But we hit. <laughs> now um, we're hoping to do 14 points of damage. We do 2d12 plus two, and we get it. So that insect is defeated. Um, if you take damage from this combat, you're now poisoned. We are not. Um, you can cure it. There's nothing good that comes from killing it besides we don't get poisoned. So, okay. Area, that was area three. Moving to area six. You open a cellar to find a couple of villagers hiding out. You assure them the coast is clear. I'm not, I'm not sure that's sure 
uh, decide. A, convince them to stay and fight. Mm. B, encourage them to run to safety. I do not. I honestly still don't know exactly what our real goal is here. <laughs> um, I think Ivy would encourage them to run to safety. The calendars seem to think previously that the virtuous thing to do is to convince them to risk their lives to fight. But I'm, I'm going to break with the calendars again. And we're going to encourage them to run to safety. Uh, that's a charisma roll plus villager squad. I, I think that makes sense. The more people we have in our squad, the more likely the other ones are to... Well, I don't know. <laughs> We're just going to do this. Encourage them to run to safety. Roll d20. we got too many dice in here right now. Read d20 plus charisma. Wow, 20. That's, that's, uh, that's easily a success. And we get a boon die. So the best result here. They decide to leave and seek safety. Add two to your current to your count of villagers. Safe. So we now have four that are safe. Seven in our squad. Four. Okay. That was area six. Area two. There are some sacks at the top of a silo. Well, D20 plus strength plus villager squad. Reminder, athlete. Ivy has a number of these things. So D20, 16 plus strength is 19. We're already at the best result. You climb to the top of the silo and free two villagers from the sacks. One needs medical help while the other wants to fight alongside you and the others. Add one to your count of villager safe. Add one to your count of villager squad. This is weird. We're, uh, we're doing suspiciously well. Uh, that's so we're eight in our squad and five safe. Okay, I do like this mechanic of collecting people in different categories. I still don't know what we really want, but um, I, I like it. So that was area two, area five. This is the town hall building where several insects fled. You may stop now or you may continue to explore before returning here. We've got one more area to look at, so let's do that and then we'll return to the town hall. Area four, sacks sit in the middle of a yard covered in silken threads. Roll d20 plus dexterity plus villager squad. That's a 14 plus three dexterity is 17 plus eight is 25. That's the best result. You carefully avoid getting caught on the silken threads and open the sacks to find both villagers alive. Add one to your count of villagers safe. Add one to your villager squad. This is so nine and six. Again, no idea if this is good, uh, but it feels good. And that, my friends, is October 2nd. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>